Hi all, this is Sia Naz and welcome to episode 95 of the Diary of Sia Naz. So tonight running a bit late, it's actually 11, 11 p.m. Uh, my auntie called from overseas, so I have to use my, I, I'll have to set it up, it's um, was a, um, a Facebook, uh, it's a FaceTime call and my parents do not know anything about technology so I had to set that all up and then I had to stay there so they had a really good chat my auntie's in Greece so nice long distance chat but so that's why I'm running a bit behind but I've got this lovely background hadn't used it yet and I thought I'll just go for it it's just um wood it looks like um, a fence and I thought I haven't used it before so I just put it up and um yeah that's how we've come to this moment so let's start with the week so the week started on the 2nd of November so you know time's really flown and um, yeah almost Christmas so uh, let's start with Monday so as I'm looking down I'm looking at my fluffy rainbow unicorn diary and on Monday as always I edited uploaded and promoted my podcast um yeah had the big discussion like last week i was talking about um the workmen that i had to have a power with them and i was very nervous about it but I very calmly had the conversation with them it's very new for me being greek you know i'm always screaming when i communicate things <laughs> but i was very civilized and um yeah we had a good conversation and um I'm glad to say that all 90, 95% of the work is over so I'm, I'm really happy about that because I find it really stressful because you've got to look at the work and you've got to inspect it and I'm really fussy and I had to get them to change things and you know they weren't too happy because they thought they were just gonna um, they're just painting the side of the house and they're removing rotten um, weather boards and they thought they were just going to replace the boards and slap some paint on and go but no 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 um, I demand a higher standard than that so um, yeah uh, they were here for almost just over two no two weeks and um, yeah I'm just glad that it's all done so but on Monday I had a power discussion with them so I'm glad that's over um, yeah and then so that was Monday and like lots of um, housework and stuff like that too I think on Monday my sister was here and she sort of helped with that but I had to have the powwow um, yeah it's very uncomfortable when you have to do things like this so that was Monday and then on Tuesday it was Melbourne Cup Day and on Tuesday I, I bet some money on the Melbourne Cup I only do like six dollars so a dollar to place and then a dollar to win and I put down Tiger Moth and that actually that one and I won two dollars ninety so <laughs> big celebration um yeah but that was that was nice it was very unusual Melbourne Cup but it's still exciting when you watch the race uh, on Monday I also edited the beat video and of the week um so last week it was high which is um yeah got some um po i've got some positive comments back from that i just thought it was a bit of a lazy beat and um yeah but people liked it so i'm really happy about that and on tuesday i also got this um blusher it's it's from melt and it's an American company and I really like this one I got suckered into this one because it's got a B on it on the front and this um, blusher it's a duo one side is queen blush and the other side is B blush so it's queen B you can see it there queen B and inside um, without trying to give too much away you can see that there's a B on the inside and then that's the um, blusher there it's two colors and it's one's gold and the one's sort of like a bronze color and it's got a honeycomb pattern there and it's got a bee printed in the honeycomb I think there might be a bee over there too um, 
so I just thought it was really good now there's just a bee on the bronze side which is the queen side <laughs> a queen bee and I just thought it was really inventive so I really liked it um, I don't know if you can still get it um, beauty brands just come up with new cosmetics all the time so I just I really like that so um, that's that's the main colors that I'm wearing like I've got a lot of blush on but I saw from their promotion that they had a picture of a model and she had a lot of the blush on and I really liked it so that's why I've gone a bit heavy-handed but I just kind of like the golden glow on there so yeah I actually took some of <laughs> it was more on before but yeah that's why um, yeah it looks a bit heavy today it's because of that and then I, I put on these super duper eyelashes and I'm just trying to get them to stay up they're so heavy um, they keep falling I don't know what the secret to wearing thick eyelashes but anyway so that was on Tuesday and then on Wednesday was the US election and um, I've been watching it every day since um, it's very exciting because it's quite a momentous occasion I think this one to get rid of the awful um, Trump oh, it's cut out no no come back there it is it's come back um, to get rid of the awful Trump and to get in Joe Biden so normally I, I just I don't really <laughs> care but this one I just cannot wait to get rid of Donald Trump I think is the worst thing that's ever happened to politics and talk about drain the swamp he is the swamp so how do you drain it when he's it and I just think he's the worst person in the world so I was just um, so anxious to see that he does get voted out but we can talk about that later um, I also watched a documentary on Netflix a movie on Netflix and it's called best worst thing that ever could have happened and it was about a musical that Stephen Sondheim and Hal Prince wrote and the documentary was called Merrily We Roll Along and it failed spectacularly and it just showed like all this footage was hidden for decades and one of the guys that was in the musical made a documentary about it because he turned um turned out to be a, um, a director um a few years later and it just follows the lives of the people that were in the in the musical and it was very different it was almost revolutionary because the i haven't seen the musical myself but i've heard of it so i was quite surprised that it was a flop and um stephen sondheim was saying that because he had been so successful up till that stage uh, that maybe the critics were just getting jealous or who knows and they just ripped it to shreds, a bit shreds because it was so different and the musical is about older people and it's going backwards not older people but they're older people and then it's going backwards from where they are today and then it goes back to them at high school and all the hopes and dreams they have which is quite um, inventive and sort of like an early Benjamin Button and what they did was instead of using people when they were older in their older years they used the young people throughout the whole um, show and they had uh, jumpers on there saying what their role was so it was very different and um, yeah when it, they worked really hard on it when it came out um, it just got savaged and um, a few years later maybe like 10 years later it was revived and then more and more um, people started redoing it and then towards the end of the documentary it shows them that it became quite successful a lot of people really do like it and they had a 20 year anniversary and like it was a huge success it sold out really quickly and one of the people in there is George from Seinfeld he was one of the guys in that in that first production Production, um, in the original production and it just followed all the actors lives and some of them it's, it's a bit sad because um, like most of them got out of theatre and became uh, followed different paths and even with um, Jason Alexander who's George on Seinfeld he was saying that 
he really wanted to do theatre but he had kids and his wife said you know think about it you can follow your dream and do that but you're not going to be able to take your kids in at night you know you've got to decide what you want to do and he really did want to do theatre but he ended up doing television and became successful doing that so it was kind of bittersweet for him which is unusual um so yeah it's a it's a really good if you've got netflix it's called best worst thing that ever could have happened so yeah definitely check it out it was yeah it was sad but sometimes i come kind of you know really badly i'm i'm happy when successful people are not happy because it's like you know just jealousy really bad but um yeah i was happy and i was sad for them you know you know really bad quite joy but i was sad for them too so that was Wednesday, my evil Wednesday, and then on Thursday, I want Thursday I got my rare thought Ushi, which I paid a bundle for, and now I've and I photographed all of them, uh, all the Ushis for Marvel with um from the Marvel collection, and I got the f rare furry thought Ushi, and I've put them up on um, eBay at an extravagant cost. Um, but I'm just going to see who's going to pay for it because I saw that somebody paid an enormous amount of money for a furry, um, the furry um, one from Star Wars. I can't remember what his name is. I'm not a, a Star Wars fan at all, unfortunately. Um, but somebody paid $12,000 for the furry green one. I can't remember what his name is. Um, uh, is it Obi-Wan Kenobi? I'm not sure. Hang on. Let me look it up because I saw that um, rare woolies bushes, and yeah, I just saw that um, somebody oh Yoda, um, baby Yoda. Um, somebody paid twelve thousand dollars for a baby Yoda on eBay, and I had the fairy Thor or she and i put it in with the rest of the whole marvel um collection so i'm hoping somebody will buy it because i need the money to um fund my business uh, my invention so i'm i've got fingers crossed and if you're interested please have a look it's on ebay um you can find it very easily by looking up um marvel um Ushis with the Fur, uh, with the furry Thor or she or if you just put in furry Thor or she maybe that will come up so I did that on Thursday um, I finally started going shopping like normal which is wonderful um, uh, it's so nice to go back to the, sh the, sh the shops like <laughs> it's wonderful <laughs> and um, Thursday and then Thursday I, norm I normally do the normal shopping um on friday and thursday with the ushis i photoshopped them all so they were nice and bright and clean and they look really nice and i photographed them i've got a light box and i photographed them in my light box so so they look nice and pretty and shiny so yeah definitely check that out and if you've got some cash please spend because it's going to a good cause is to fund my invention so that i can get it manufactured um so that was on thursday and then on friday uh, my sister came over and we did lots of home maintenance there's so much to do um on this house now that it's getting older um it needs a lot of um, maintenance um because dad hasn't done anything nothing's been done to this house for decades because it stood really well but now in well, they've had this house for like 50 years. It, it needs work. Things are cracking. Paint is peeling. Like, it just needs so much work. Um, I went to High Point for the first time in like four months. And it was wonderful. There were, all the shops were open. There were lots of people around. It was so good. just felt good to be normal again. Um, I also got, I got these eyelashes and these the eyelashes that i'm wearing i've got to figure out how you keep them sitting up these gorgeous eyelashes they're really black they keep falling because they're, <laughs> they're so heavy i don't know how you keep them up and they're from house of lashes and this is um one of the boxes oh, i've put them in upside down 
so um, House of Lashes and these ones that I'm wearing are called Iconic and I got some from Patrick Ta that's this guy here and I actually thought it was Patrick Star and I thought oh good I'll support him but yeah it's a different guy so got my Patrick's mixed up and I got the top lashes these ones are extra these ones are called it's an after party and I put them on first but you couldn't barely see them and then um, I've got iconic light which is these bottom ones and these ones are iconic and they're a lot thicker so um, yeah they're really cool so and they cost a fortune and it they took two months to get here so I got them on the 8th of August and they came on the Friday so what the 5th Fifth of the fifth of November, August, August to September, September. No, no, I don't think I got them in August. It must have been September. So it's taken two months. I know it's taken two months. What's the eighth? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. I did get them in August. Three months. They've taken three months to get here. The eighth. So that's pretty bad. I thought they were lost, gone forever, but they finally showed up. Um, yeah, watching lots of CNN well into the night um, to keep on the on top of the election because um, I'm just so stressed out by Trump and all his foolishness, that damn fool. Um, I approached a new manufacturer in Vietnam because I'm not getting good vibes from the manufacturer in Thailand. One of the things that made me a bit nervous was that the manufacturer in Thailand they have a link on that page and the link goes to a website with girls um, with earrings with nose rings I'm like what the hell that's not very professional but everything else on there um, looked looked fine I got looked um, some stuff up there um, but they're taking a long time to respond to emails and it just made me nervous and I just kept thinking about that link of the girls with the nose rings I'm like you shouldn't be linking that to your business page it's not good and then I was watching a documentary about a businessman who's a billionaire and he's given all his money away and he spoke about Vietnam and I didn't I have never even thought of Vietnam I always thought of like Thailand or Philippines I didn't even think of Vietnam and then I thought yeah Vietnam I should look that up because he's funded I think he spent almost a billion dollars on the country funding universities and um, uh, I think that kind of explains why Vietnam has um, gone a bit more middle class where they were really quite poor um, it's it's become a bit of a wealthier country and I'm guessing it might be because of this guy he's like really f um, funded it really well like he's given them a lot of money so let me go to YouTube and have a look at library and history and let's have a look oh look it's got it by day now it's not that one. Oh, here we go what's his name chuck feeney his name is chuck feeney Char oh, charles f feeney and i don't know for some reason oh he came up on my suggested videos and i thought oh i'll have a look and then he just uh, watched a few more of the videos and yeah it just turned out that he's funded vietnam a lot and i thought yeah and so i found a new place so um and they're incredibly professional they've got um like um lg and canon and honda as clients and yeah it just looks a lot better so um i hope on monday i'll hear from them and then i think i'll just transfer to them and just go go with them. it's a lot more professional so um yeah hopefully that will come out and then on saturday um i started a beat called dope and it's a it's sort of an industrial type beat it's got like a nine inch nine inch nails flavor um and i've only done like four no i've probably done about a minute's worth so no i think i've just done a few bars of it like four or eight bars and i've just got to figure out what i want to do with the rest of it 
um, but it sounds pretty cool but it, it's not finished um, Saturday and Saturday I always do housework lots of housework and um, lots of chilling because it's been a busy week it's been a stressful week because of the tradies and they actually finished on Saturday they've still got like three things to do but they're really small and it's not something that I'm gonna stress over but um, yeah but uh, like I said to mum we should have just gotten them to remove the um, the rotten weather boards and then we should have um, sa sanded the the weather boards and painted it ourselves because they didn't do a hundred percent job that I would have liked them to do you can still see the old paint and they didn't um, sand down some areas and the hard bits they didn't do and I had to go back and say you know what about this bit and what about that bit and they did they didn't do things that were hard and I'm like if that if I had have done that I would have finished everything I would have done everything necessary to fix the house like sand it down so you can paint it so I'm a bit disappointed about some areas but other areas they did pretty good job and the paint job they did was really good but they didn't sand enough that's what I wanted them to sand down things better so I'm disappointed in that but I'm just glad that it's finished they're gone it's done and they just have to do like um, some small minute things and we're all good so so that was a relief on Saturday it really was it that was really stressful and then today is Sunday and today my sister came over with my nephew and we played and we had a good time and we cut down some stuff from the tree like some leaves and branches and my sister made um, a pie a spanakopita so it's um, a pie with um, spinach and cheese and my sister makes it from scratch like the pastry she makes from scratch it's called pastry yeah like phyllo pastry and um, yeah everything from scratch and they did that and on and today we um actually was was it oh uh, yeah so it's sunday so probably early hours of sunday australia well melbourne time we found out that joe biden is the new president which is absolutely fantastic because i've just been so stressed out with what's happening with trump and just all the awful awful things that he's done and i'm just so glad that joe biden has been elected um, I was hoping to see it in person but um, yeah I found out later and um, yeah so now um, Trump's obviously going to law courts and all that which is just stupid he's such a fool um, so hopefully I'm just looking forward to January 20 when Joe Biden comes in I think that Trump's gonna make a big mess out of everything and just going to make a laughing stock out of himself which is done from day one and i think it's just in the next couple of weeks what 10 weeks until joe biden goes in i think trump's just going to make an absolute fool of himself i wonder if he's even going to turn up at the inauguration or if he's going to do anything he's just going to embarrass himself even more what an absolute revolting person he is so that was the week so beat of the week is commercial and commercial is a dirty south type beat so mm, dirty south i think is more detroit but it's a it's sort of like a grungy sort of trap beat and there's two different pianos in it there's two different synths in it there's an 808 in there um and it's got sort of like a cypress hill feel in there and um, yeah it's pretty cool I made it a while ago but let me look up Dirty South I know I've spoken about Dirty South before Dirty South music it is from um, Dirty South is oh no Dirty South that's not what I want to see oh Dirty South Dirty South music let's look it up correctly no it's southern hip-hop 
so it is from Atlanta Houston Memphis and Miami it's sort of like a heavier sort of sound but it's really cool I, I really like Dirty South so that is the beat of the week so thanks for tuning in we've got what so episode 95 so I've got four more episodes to go after this and then that's gonna be it for um this podcast i'm going to see what i'm going to come up with next i think it'll just be on music because um i changed it from just being to music because i got a bit disheartened and got too hard and then i just included um other things i was doing in my life in my week but i think i just want to concentrate on music because that's really what i want to do at the end of the day i'm hoping that with my invention i can make enough money that i can live off it and i can also concentrate on music because i hate i've i've done admin work for years and i absolutely loathe it i don't like it i don't like working for other people just want to work for myself do my own thing and do my music that's my goal so um that is the goal for the next few years so um yeah so commercial is a bit of the week look after yourselves talk to your gp if you need help there's lots of resources out there call lifeline or beyond blue they're there to help you um the details are on the screen or in the information section below and um, share this podcast with your friends or, and family or someone you think would like to hear it or see it uh, subscribe there's lots of places you can hear the, the podcast subscribe leave comments leave reviews you haven't got long to leave some more reviews and um, I will catch you guys next week take care and bye